Fox 2 News at 10. First on Fox, a mom of two is without her car tonight after the city of Calverton Park towed it from her driveway for having expired tags. It is the latest push to get drivers in line with the law. However, Fox Files investigator Mitch McCoy found that city may have a bumpy road with this ordinance. One attorney calls it strange how this city was able to pass an ordinance that empowered code enforcement to tow away cars with expired plates and paper tags. The mayor stands behind the city's law while some argue it needs to go. I feel like I'm losing everything right now. As each day passes, Christina Reese's bill adds up for a tow she never called. I just don't know, you know, how he, they could just come in my driveway and take my car. The Fox files uncovered this, an administrative search warrant signed by a Calverton Park judge on May 22nd. It allowed the city to tow and impound Reese's car because her temporary tag expired two months ago. Reese says she's been saving up to pay the taxes. I've been just taking a little bit out of every paycheck and setting aside. I mean, the taxes, they're like, they're close to two grand. A warning is sent out, giving 10 days to remove the vehicle. Calverton Park Police and Code Enforcement Lieutenant Sean Gibbon says he sent Reese this notice and offered her a hearing with him before taking action. Gibbon says it comes down to two things. Licensed and operable in order to be in the driveway or on private property in Calverton Park. Calverton Park's local ordinance prohibits property owners from having an unlicensed and or inoperable car on the property. The city says since December 2020, there's been 350 total violations with 81 vehicles towed away. They're really tap dancing around state law. Attorney Joel Schwartz says Missouri law is clear. A car cannot be towed from private property unless it's a safety hazard. Schwartz says trying to argue that an expired tag is a safety hazard is a stretch. While some could argue it's a gray area, I still think it's in violation of this individual civil rights. It's up to courts to determine whether we stay on one side or on the other. That's not up to us. But until that, then we can interpret it how we how we must and the city attorney's advice. How am I going to get to and from work? You know, I have kids. I have to get them to school. Reese has been without her car for two weeks. Multiply that by $50 a day plus a $250 tow fee. She owes nearly $1,000 just to get her ride out of car jail. Not to mention the two grand she owes in state taxes and you can't forget the $336 abatement fee issued by Calverton Park. A tough bind for a mom who only has $800 saved up. I don't have that amount of money to get my car out of the impound. There's, there's no way. You know, I live like paycheck to paycheck as it is. When we asked about potential safety hazards, the code enforcement lieutenant says they found snakes and mice when removing cars. The city's mayor says he stands by the local law and his city attorney. For the Fox Files, I'm Mitch McCoy.